Welcome on guys, it's your boy Jack, aka The Balding Reefer, coming at you today's video, which is how to properly clean a sponge filter. So, let's go. Okay, so for those of you uh, that are new to the channel, my name is Jack. I am indeed the Balding Reefer. I specialise in marine, tropical and cold water fish. In my fish room, which you can see here all around me, I use sponge filters galore. Not only do they, not only do they provide mechanical filtration, they also provide um, biological filtration as well. Now, a lot of people ask me uh, in the aquarium hobby, what's the best way to clean a sponge filter and things like that. Uh, and the easiest way uh, for me is I take a bucket of tank water, which I've already got prepped here behind me, uh, and simply rinse it all out in there. But let me just spin you guys around and I'll quickly show you uh, the best way to do it and the safest way to do it too. Okay, so here we have the, uh, the sponge filter. Uh, it's just come out of my convict tank. They are a dirty, dirty fish, hence the colour of it already, as you can see the amount of fish poo on there. Now we'll literally start with a pipe. I just literally, it's only a small pipe, so I just literally put my finger in there and just try and rub away as much as the surface gunk as I possibly can. Now, this water here that I'm actually doing this in is actually recycled tank water, so it's come out of the same tank as the convict cichlids. Just because I'm cleaning the filter, what I don't want to do is get rid of all the beneficial bacteria. So that's why I want to use uh, this tank water here. Now all I'm doing at the moment is just grabbing the sponge and putting a lot of pressure on it just to get as much as that gunk out of there as I possibly can. Now those of you guys at home that are watching may be thinking, well isn't that, surely that's just sucking up all that gunk as well. Uh, yeah, you're absolutely correct, it is. But what we're doing is we're getting rid of a lot of it because there's no way this sponge filter is going to be able to suck up all of this dirty, dirty water that is in there. And like I say, we still want to keep hold of that beneficial bacteria. Not all this brown here means bad. It doesn't mean that, it, that it's dirt, dirt, if that makes sense. As in, it doesn't mean it's just horrible crud poo. It's got millions upon millions upon millions of beneficial bacteria in these sponge filters. Now, the sponge filters uh, I use aren't particularly branded. I order them off eBay, they come over from China. The actual manufacturer is called JAD, uh, JAD Super Biochemical Sponge Filters, uh, the SF191 uh, to be precise. Uh, it's a medium coarse um, sponge filter, and as you can see there, obviously there's a little bit more gunk there, so I'll just spin that round. It's a medium coarse sponge filter. In sponge filters, you can get all sorts of different uh, varieties uh, in regards to sort of coarseness and stuff like that. And depending on what kind of fish you're keeping, depends on what kind of sponge filter you actually need. But for me, the medium tends to do me well. Now we just remove the bottom, uh, well the middle from the bottom, give that a quick swirl there in the water. Uh, this here does detach off the bottom as well, just to make sure you can get all of the gunk out. And then it's just a matter of reattaching it back on. Whilst I'm here, I'll actually show you guys how these actually work. Let me just clean this top one off for you. Again, they all detach down, which is why I like using this JAD uh, brand in particular. Uh, not all of them break down as easy as these. Now, some sponge filters you can run an air stone in. These ones here you don't. Now, how it works, in essence, is... Obviously you attach your airline onto the top part here. In the centre, you can, if you see that there, the hole, that's basically a tube that connects onto, the, onto uh, that tube just there. So what happens is it forces the air down into the very bottom. Then all these individual holes here is where the air pushes back through. As that air is being pushed back through, obviously that's transferring to bubbles coming out the top of the sponge filter. So as those bubbles are being pushed up throughout the sponge filter, what's happening then is the way that more water gets in there is it slowly gets drawn through the actual sponge in itself. Now once we've rinsed that off, let me find my tube. There you go. There you go. All that 
gunky water there. Don't throw that away, by the way, guys. Use that on your plants. Let me just take you off my trusty little tripod. Obviously, it was in that tank just there, which is the old uh, convict tank. I'm now actually moving all of the convicts over into here. There are already some in there, as you can see. That's a pretty cool shot, to be fair. What do you do then? Simply drop it back into your tank. Obviously, there is a little bit of gunk on there, but don't worry about that. That will get sucked up in no time at all. Obviously, you attach on your airline. I actually need to screw a hole in there in a second to be able to actually do that because I've moved the tank around. And then, yeah, that's it. You are good to go. Relatively, like I say, short, sweet video uh, this week, but it's one of those things uh, in the aquarium hobby that you need to know if you are keeping sponge filters. Let me stop you around because this light is terrible. I really need to do something about this middle light. Um, yeah, short and sweet, but it is something you definitely need to be aware of if you're using sponge filters. Whatever you do, do not rinse them uh, in normal tap water. Uh, it's going to kill off all that beneficial bacteria for you, and you're going to find that you've crashed your cycle, which none of us want. If you do crash your cycle, I suggest that you get some uh, something like uh, Fritz um, BioStart uh, or Fritz Turbo. Um, or some sort of uh, colonised uh, colonized bacteria. You can buy it in bottles, absolutely stinks. Um, but yeah, if you crash your cycle, definitely, definitely get some of that. I mean, to be fair, I'd always advise keeping some on hand anyway. I say that, I've actually not gone none in the fish room at the moment. Um, but yeah, I am gonna be doing a follow-up video to this of how we actually supercharge a sponge filter. Yes, you can make a sponge filter work even better. Um, so yeah. If you want to see those kind of videos, swipe up and either here or here, or should I say here or here, there will be a subscribe button. Hit that for me, then hit the bell notification. The reason why I need you to hit the bell notification is you get to see my bald head do even more videos in the fish room. So yeah, as ever, thank you very much for watching. Stay safe, stay sane, and stay happy. Other than that, Baldy and Reefer, out.